Networking vintage computers can be a very fun challenge. So today we're going to set up a vintage LAN party and try out some classic games like Counter-Strike and Quake 2. Let's get started. Networking vintage computers isn't too hard, but you are going to need a few things to do it. The first one being a good network switch. Having a good quality network switch is an essential component to a functional LAN party. Without one, your players can experience interruptions in their connections and lead to a non-pleasant experience. So having a good switch is key. Next, you're going to want network cards, and lots of them. Finding the drivers for these things can be so annoying, and when they actually work, it's a miracle. So having good network cards is key to a successful LAN. Here I'll be using some Intel network cards. These drivers are pretty easy to track down for these ones, so they weren't too much of a problem to install. Now we get to the computers. I'll be using this Pentium 3 computer I built a long time ago, which has a Voodoo 3 inside. This should be a very nice PC for running Quake 2 and Counter-Strike. And for the other PC, I'll be using a Pentium 2 running at 400MHz with a pair of 8MB Voodoo 2s in SLI inside. So now we need to actually go ahead and get our vintage computers networked. This is rather simple. All we do is plug in some regular Ethernet cables to our network cards on the back. And now with the before mentioned switch, I'll go ahead and plug in those Ethernet cables directly into it. All we need to do now is go ahead and plug in the network switch. We're basically done with the hardware side of things at this point. So now it's time to go ahead and set up the computers and get into some software stuff. I've set up the computers pretty basically, just with some LCD monitors, keyboard and mouse. So let's go ahead and fire them up. First, on the host computer, I'll go ahead and locate my Quake 2 install and then launch it. Once in Quake 2, Go to Multiplayer and then click on Start Network Server. Now you can change the map if you like, but just leave it as is if you want to test it. And you can leave the rest of the values as default and just change the host name to something simple like Server. From there we can click Begin and launch the network game. So it looks like a normal Quake 2 game now. But, we can actually connect from other computers on our network to this Quake 2 game and do deathmatch. So I'll show you how to do that now. On the second computer we'll go ahead and launch Quake 2 and then scroll over to multiplayer. From here we're going to click join network game and as you can see there is our network game right there which we set up on the other computer earlier. By simply joining that game, as you can see, we now have two vintage computers playing on the same Quake 2 game. I'll go ahead and move the second player out to where the first one is. And as you can see, you can see the host skin. And on the other screen, you can see my skin. Isn't that cool? I can shoot either player and it all works out really well. So here is an example of a networked Quake 2 game. Obviously it's more fun with multiple players and you can really create a great atmosphere and have a great LAN game when you have multiple people. But yeah, this is just a demonstration. Let's now go ahead and network a game of Counter-Strike. To start things off, you're going to go ahead and click on Play CS and then LAN Games. Next, we're going to click Create Game and then all we need to do is change the name to something like Server. In fact, you don't even have to do that, but here I am. 
and then just change the map to whatever you'd like it to be click OK and it should boot you into the game straight away and yeah look at that a counter-strike one game how cool now on our secondary computer all we have to do is click refresh on the multiplayer menu and as you can see our server appears just like that we can go ahead and boot into it and choose our team and our character I think I'll go with this one and what do you know we have a networked counter-strike game so let's go ahead and find the other players I should have probably picked a smaller map for this but once we're there would you look at that that's me and that's also me well there you have it a networked counter-strike game this was really fun to set up, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway though, that's about it from me, and I'll see you next time.